Today we're going to talk about how dangerous the mud flats actually are. If you live in Alaska, you may have seen the most latest headlines regarding the mud flats. This week, a gentleman was unalived by the mud flats, and I'm going to explain why they're so dangerous. During low tide, it looks like you can walk upon it like it's solid ground, but it in fact is not. The mud you see here is actually glacial silt, and it's not real mud. Glacier silt is formed when a glacier slowly degrades and disintegrates rocks over time, turning it into a fine particle known as silt. When the tide comes back in, the silt gets wet from the bottom, so when someone stands on it, it acts like a vacuum and just sucks them down. The silt is only part of the problem. The problem is, once you're stuck in the silt and you can't get out, you have the tide rising, which will slowly creep in on you until it unalives you and you drown. It is possible to be rescued from the mud flats, but it's really hard. First, they have to gather a lot of people because while rescuing someone stuck, the rescuers will also get stuck and need someone to rescue them. It's really hard to rescue someone when they're stuck from the waist down. It is recommended to call 911 even if you are stuck below the knee. You hope that emergency services can get there in time as well. But once the water is over their heads, there's really nothing left to be done except to wait for the body to show up. It's safer to say, please just stay away from these mud flats. They are so dangerous and very risky, and there are so many horror stories like this young gentleman of being unalive due to the mudflats.